Hello guys, what is up, it's Mace. Welcome back to Blazing Blaze. So I know that I said in last week's video that that would be the last time you guys would be seeing Le Box, Le Studio Apartment, the kitchen that has hosted many a fashion haul on Blazed and Glazed, but alas, I lied. I told a little bit of a fib. I did not expect to kick off my kind of like decor shopping and moving kind of vlog series this soon, but alas, the bug has bit me and I could not contain myself and obviously had to bring my beautiful ass queens with me. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. You are finding us at an exciting ass time when I'm moving from my studio apartment that I've been living in for the past three years in Los Angeles to a much bigger one bedroom apartment still in Los Angeles and this is going to be the first of many like vintage thrifted home decor videos and moving videos that are going to be on my channel so if that sounds like a good ass time to you hit subscribe down below and I figured before I jump into kind of like the thrift with me portion of this video I would kind of break down the vibe the overall feeling that we are trying to evoke in this new apartment because honestly I am so excited I am someone who has never really had their own space to decorate. I've been in the studio for three years and I didn't really put any effort into decorating it because one, couldn't really afford it when we first moved here and two, just it's so small that honestly we've been using it as just like a workspace, a sleep space, an eat space and that's about it. So I'm very excited to decorate this new place and just go freaking Radio Gaga. Like I literally cannot wait. So let's break down what the vibe is going to be because I have seen a lot of LA apartments and for the most part, they're very modern, they're very white, they're very bright, they're very marble. And my vibe, as you guys know, is gonna be straight 80s. I will say just for the living room, I wanna take this kind of step by step and not rush too much, but I also am very excited to get started. In this video, we're gonna be mostly looking for things for like the living room and maybe a couple of things for the kitchen because I'm not sure exactly what I want the bedroom to look like. Leave any of your guys's like suggestions your vibes your aesthetics down below let me know what you think so i basically want the whole like living room space when you walk in to evoke the vibe of like beverly hills rich dad in the 80s early 90s so that would be kind of like the movie night at the roxbury one of my favorite movies of all time you guys know i reference it often but that dad's house subsequently he is also the dad in the movie clueless which is also one of my favorite movies obviously of all time same dad different house still in beverly hills still in the 80s 90s so color wise i'm kind of thinking like blacks and golds and like clear like glass and then I also follow this Instagram account that literally brings all of the vibes. I have a ton of safe pictures I will pop up for you guys that I have been just like lusting after. So this is kind of the vibe. Definitely for the bathroom, I'm wanting to do some greens, but I don't think we're gonna get to the bathroom in this video. Uh, but yes, I hope this is kind of giving you guys an idea of what we're going for. Basically like 80s glam mixed with like a little bit of like 90s rock kind of grunge, which you wouldn't think go together, but I think they're gonna go together nicely. I know for a fact I wanna frame some like vintage Playboys on the wall. Lots of vintage magazines. I'll definitely be after vintage magazines in this video. Anyway, so before I go on too much of a tangent, let's jump into the thrift with me portion of this video and then we will come right back here and take a look at all the goodies. Okay, so we are hitting two spots today. First up is Savers. Now, I come to the Savers all the time. Also, I have Tyler here with me because, Hello. you know, he is living in this new Happy apartment as well. Happy Women's Day. To all my ladies oh. and anyone who identifies as such. I hit up the Savers all of the time, but I always stick to the clothing section because we obviously haven't been thrifting home decor. I've been picking up, like, little pieces here and there, but we haven't done, like, a real big home decor thrift, like, ever. A lot of catch -alls. Ever. So we are going to head into Savers with our 80s glam aesthetic vibe in mind mixed with, like, whatever the hell else we see fit. I've explained to them like the kind of vibes that I'm feeling for the new place, which I feel like we're on this kind of same page about. What are your vibes? What are you feeling? What are you after? I think I'm on the same page as you with the 80s power glam vibes. Dad, I'm thinking like Tony, the I'm thinking Tony Montana. Tony Montana, we're, we're on the Night same the wavelength. Roxbury. Night at the Roxbury, we're on the same wavelength. Okay, honey, that's why I um, love you. And I actually have like a birthday present in mind that I think fits that, but that's to come later in 2020. Okay, well, stay tuned for that. We are headed in. Let's have a good ass time. I'm so excited. Okay, this is the first home decor area that we're starting off in, which has like electronics, chairs, and lamps over there. So, not really looking for chairs at the moment. We're kind of looking for smaller items like this. Like, what could I put in this? I'm kind of into it. Um, I'm just gonna hold on to it. Here are the lamps, and they are speaking my language. I automatically am drawn to this one, except I don't like these. I like the black I mean, and the gold. That's true, because the black and the gold are giving me very Night at the Roxbury Dad. Yeah, I definitely want to take the shade off of it because I'm not into it at all. Oh, 
Okay, I think we are done with this section and we need to go move down. Okay, so I just spotted this guy. It looks a little beaten up though, but I'm thinking to like put magazines on. A little too beat up. You're saying you don't like this? I don't like this. What are we gonna put? Tell me what you don't like about this. How it's could you not like it? It's just. And it's gonna be like hard to clean. I thought maybe to hold our umbrellas. We don't have umbrellas. <laughs> but like, <Yeah>. fine. <laughs> Wow, already already getting my heart stomped on by Tyler in this moving process. <gasps> I found another magazine holder. Oh my God. I feel like that will just turn into like random r stuff gets put in on the ground. <laughs> it's a magazine holder. I think you put wood in it next to like a fireplace, you know? Okay, I'll leave it. Okay, so far we have a lamp. Let's move it along. Okay, so Tyler just found this like gorgeous crystal catch-all with a lid, which is fantastic. And I'm being pulled to just wanting like a bunch of like things like this, like this vintage phone. Like I feel like this just looks so cool. I kind of want like a vintage alarm clock. That would be fun. It literally has like cigarette stuff on it, but it's fabulous. These are pretty iconic. I'm just, oh my God, a boom box? A boom box. Bubba. Oh, oh, oh. A boombox. What are we gonna do with a boombox? I don't know. Listen to the sick beats. Okay, so one of my plans for the new apartment is to have a whole wall that has like old records, old record covers on it, and I've been collecting quite a few for a while. I'll share with you guys on a later date, but we need to flip through all of these. I feel like this man speaks to your soul. Oh my god, that kind of looks like Lin Manuel Miranda, and I really like the colors. Look at those colors. I don't know who he is, but I'm here for it. I'm actually gonna look at these old magazines down here. I didn't even think about that. Okay, this People's Magazine's kind of iconic. This is kind of dope. I love, I don't know if I've ever told you guys before, but I love looking at old fashioned magazines at the thrift. Okay guys, I found the clear winner, Funky Avalon, beauty school dropout, go back to high school, no graduation day for you, coming home. This is the section we go through to find all of like the little catch-alls. Like I think I literally have this exact thing at home saved for the new place. I have quite a few things like this. And I think I have a flat one like this as well. But this one that Tyler found is like really special because it looks completely crystal. You can tell that it is. So let's move on to glassware. Okay. Some new wine glasses would be a move for us. What do you think of these ones, Bubba? For wine glasses? There's two. It's a set of two for four something. espresso cups. Now, you guys know I've been all about brewing my own espresso and I'm all about these very cool little espresso cups. I don't like the ridges on the bottom of those. Um, these ones are cute. Let's see what else we got. Oh my gosh, these so so tiny ones up here. There's more, there's more, there's more. There's more. These are kind of 80s. Yeah, I feel like the square bottom makes them like 80s vibes. There's no price on these, but I do like them. Let's grab them. Okay. Sure oh, but there's also, oh, those are gross, no. For plates, I'm really into these um, clear ones. I think they're really cool. Yeah, I'm really nice when we clean. When we clean, when we run them through the dishwasher. Our new dishwasher, guys, we haven't had a dishwasher in three years. How do you feel about getting a dishwasher? I don't even want to talk about it. Tyler's main job has been the dishwashing for the past three years. How do you feel about it? I'm Give me one word to describe your emotion that you're feeling amazing. right now. Oh. About the new dishwasher. Elated. Fucking excited, that's what he is. Okay, 
Okay, so we just got back out to the car and you guys, I'm like geeking the F out over the fact that we only spent $49 on all the things that we got. Of course, at the end of the video, I'm gonna do a haul, but you guys will die when you find out how much he ended up pricing this lamp for us at because it didn't have a price on it. Um, everything in here and then in that bag too. So moving on to the next. Okay, so I am back with the goodies and I am so excited to share all of these things with you guys. So I'm going to hop right in and we ended up spending about $39, which is honestly blowing my mind for the amount of things that we got for the new apartment. I also got like two clothing items. You guys saw me trying on things. I couldn't not just like have a peek. If there is anything that you guys take away from this video, I hope that it is just like at least a little bit of inspiration. Play around with your space, whether it's a new space or your current space and know that you don't have to spend a lot of money to do it. I know that that's always been really overwhelming to me just like people spending so much money ordering like brand new things off like furniture websites like this was much more fun and we are going to jump right in so the first thing that I found that you guys saw me find in the vlog was this lamp which I'm obviously gonna need a lampshade for which I'm sure you guys will see me thrift one here very very soon this spoke to the exact color vibe that I was after like I told you guys the black the gold it's super gaudy looking and it's also super like glam like this gives me very 80s glam vibes this gives me very the dad and night at the Roxbury vibes like I think he would love this lamp I think I think he would hold this lamp dear. I think he would throw it up all over the place. So this lamp didn't have a price tag on it and all the other lamps around it were going for like $14.99 to $19.99. So I was comfortable to spend 15 or $20 on like a nice lamp for the living room, but he ended up only pricing this for $4.99 at the register. So we scored this lamp for $5 and I'm sure I'll be able to find a shade for like even less. Uh, moving on, ooh, it's a crystal ball. I see into my future and it looks sparkly AF. I see into all of our futures and it looks sparkly AF. This was $9.99, so like a little bit pricey, but it's also like, I don't want it to be too loud. Crystal and gorgeous. I don't even know what we're gonna put inside. I kinda wanna put like candy inside. I don't know, comment down below what you guys think we should put inside of this. It's probably going to go on the coffee table that we haven't bought yet, that will be in the living room by the couch that we haven't bought yet. But I love this so much. And Tyler knows I've been picking up a ton of crystal or crystal-esque catch-alls. I just literally love that word so much, catch-all. Just, it's a fun one. Um, I've been picking up a ton over the past couple of months. So basically all of the dishes in the living room and the bathroom and our bedroom are going to be kind of this like crystally vibe. So moving on. Okay, so next up is glassware. I picked up one of each of the sets that we got. I will start with the wine glasses the most important glasses in my opinion. I personally like a really big, wide uh, wine glass that can hold quite a large pour. So I got two of these. It was $4.49 for the set of two. Not bad at all. Uh, and then Tyler, because he's more of a beer man himself, got these like tall, nice beer glasses. I think it was $1.49 for two. He really likes these. I don't have much to say about these except one of my inspo picks that I'll pop up right here is having like a clear kind of like cabinet in the kitchen to put the glasses on. And I thought that looked very glam and very cool. And these glasses gave me the vibe. And then were these that you guys also saw quickly in the vlog. Tyler thought these would be cute for cocktails. Not like we drink that many cocktails. The only cocktail I literally ever drink is a martini, which would go in a martini glass. I'm not gonna like put it in the wrong glass. I don't want like Dorit to come after me. The fact like, that I know a wine glass out of, other than a champagne glass is etiquette. But I will probably just use these for like water in the morning. I'm sure you guys will see in vlogs in the new place. He really liked these and I wouldn't have really agreed to them if it wasn't for this cool bottom that they have. I felt like the cool kind of like squared off bottom was very art deco and just very different and very cute and very cool and very fancy if you will so we love these and these didn't have a price sticker on them either and they gave us I think both for $3.49 so fabulous so next up is this set of plates which I think you guys did see very quickly in the um in the thrift with me portion of this and thank god they gave us all this paper now we can literally use all of it to move, thank you savers. So this was a pack of six plates for $4.99, which hella good deal, hella hella good deal. And like I said, I'm really after having all of our glassware and dishware being clear. So like, it's all these just like really clear plates that will look really, really good once they get cleaned up. And I'm really excited to eat off of these. So this is the vibe we are going for, clear everything. I'm gonna have to find some clear bowls. So the last couple of things that I picked up were for the wall decor, which I wanted to take a second to kind of talk about because I feel like this is something I've been doing my entire life. In my room, in my basement room when I was in high school, I just had magazine um, cutouts plastered everywhere, but I just like taped them on the wall because I was a teenager and I didn't give a shit. Now I'm 27, I give a little bit more of a shit and I'm gonna be framing these and I'm so excited about this wall. I see people do collage kind of walls all of the time and honestly, I am not into just like most artwork, like I just haven't seen anything that really gets my juices flowing, gets my shimmies going. Record covers do and old magazines do. So 
First off, I'm going to start with records. I have been collecting so many amazing records over the past couple of months, and I'm gonna share with you guys the couple I picked up. I think this is a really great affordable option for decorating, especially if you're like younger in high school and college and don't have like a lot of money to spend or like can't do much to your walls. This is a good idea, the magazines and the records. So listen up, queens. These were 99 cents each, and the first one that I got, ugh, new super hits of the 70s like how fantastic is this i'm going to have a whole entire collage wall i think in the living room with the record covers so this one you guys know i had to get new super hits of the 70s this is just very glazed and glazed vibes next up we have frankie avalon oh my god frankie avalon what's funny is greece is my favorite movie of all time they accidentally let us watch it in preschool kind of inappropriate and it was my favorite movie ever since it inspired me to want to be an entertainer anyway frankie avalon beauty school dropout no graduation day for you like I said this is such a vibe and we love we love we love we love anyway this is the one you guys saw Tyler find for me this guy reminds me of Lin-Manuel Miranda who I love obviously I love the vibe of this I love the pink I love the letters here in all the different colors I love that this was good vibrations happy together some really really good bops so this will be so cute and then I got this one just because it has Hollywood right here has like a nice old Hollywood glamour shot on the front and was again only 99 cents and I thought I would show you guys a couple that I have picked up previously to this video that will be also joining those on the wall of records. American Gigolo, Richard Gere, like, hello, sexy. Olivia Newton-John, again, oh my gosh, we're gonna have like, I need to get a John Travolta up there so we can just have like all of the people from Greece on the wall, but Olivia Newton-John looking like a damn babe, of course. Chic. We love Chic. Chic has a couple of songs on the Morning Dance Party Spotify playlist that I have. I'll link it down below in the description. It's what I get down and chicken shimmy to on my Instagram every single morning. We love Chic. And then this one, Ben McCoy, the disco kid. Hell yes. Those will all be coming with us. And then the last thing was, again for 99 cents, this People magazine that I think is from like 2006, it is the Sexiest Man Alive issue with George Clooney on the front. And I just love old magazines. I love old fashion magazines. I love old people magazines. Cause people used to be honestly like the Bible before like social media happened. Like do you guys remember when we actually used to find out our bachelor scoop from People Magazine? It's actually crazy to think about. But this obviously just has like lots of pictures of like sexy men in here. Like who were the sexiest men in 2006? Okay, well I literally opened this to Chris Maloney, AKA Elliot Stabler in the wild looking hot as hell. So I do agree with that. 2006. So who knows, maybe for the bedroom aesthetic, I'll just be like cutting out all of the sexiest men of 2006 and plastering out all of the walls and seeing how Tyler feels about that. So pick up some magazines, splat up them over your walls, get some inspiration. I think it is a very fun idea. And then the last two things I got were clothing items, a red textured shimmy shake top and a gray leather jacket because it was literally only 5.49 and I love a good cheap savers jacket pickup. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what all you guys wanna see for like the decorating and moving process. I'm planning to like vlog the entire entire thing it is kicking off this weekend so if you guys enjoyed this video and you're ready for more thrifting decor content and moving content as well make sure to hit subscribe down below do not forget that you're a beautiful ass queen no matter what doing your damn thing just the way you do say some sweet ass things to yourself today because you effing deserve it i love you guys so much and i will see you back here on friday with a brand new la thrift queens episode it's gonna be lit it's gonna be fantastic it's gonna be fire okay peace peace love and thrift